trying to do more videos, so I'm going to record a video of how crazy easy it is to assemble a Spectre uh, DIY signer with, whoops, this, uh, with this uh, bare bones assembly, uh, bare bones case rather. Um, trying to go through this like with no outtakes, so it may not be pretty, but we're going to run with it. So I bent these extra long GPIO pins that are clipped in half. <clears throat> you try to bend them so it's about equally sided, one side versus the other. But the trick is if one side is a little bit longer, that's the side that you're going to want to insert into the female ends on this wire. So I'm just going to, one by one, get these pins installed in these wires. Can be a little tricky to find the angle, but they should just slide right in. In three. There we go. All right. Now, we're going to start with green. I've done enough of these that I don't need to do, need to use the reference, but green is going to go into the one marked 5V. Yellow. We're going to skip one ground and then go into the ground below it. Blue, we're gonna to go to the other side and do the second from the bottom. Female port and then purple goes just below it in the last port. Note that after I insert these, I'm pulling them out slightly so that I can push these plastic housings flush with what is uh, the top of those female headers that are installed in here. And that's it, four wires. Let me get my case ready. And then to do a little cable management, I'm going to twist these wires like so. Let's kind of bundle them up like that and then I've got cable coming this way I kind of hold that together flip it over run those wires through the kind of channel where there's some space for them and then just set the uh, set the main board in place it's a tight enough fit that you'll have to press down over here to sync it, but it kind of locks into place, which is nice. Um, after that, we have these wires exposed here. Note there's a key on the top that lines up with the key on the scanner module. I'm gonna start it, and then, so I don't put any pressure on that port's connection with the board, I'm gonna support that while I push it in. Looks like it's seated. I'll just double check. But after that, it's just a matter of setting the scanner module in place. And that too, it's not a crazy tight fit, but you'll know when you're in the right spot. After that, let's peel the packaging off and put the case in place. Snaps on pretty easily, and then, oops, it would help if I didn't hit the bolt. Let's just support the nut on the back side, which just sets in there. You can just hold that in place with your finger, put the screw in place on the top, and do these one by one. And 
And this last one, the alignment's a little bit off on the design. It threads fine, but you can't push it through like you push the other three through. So I kind of set that in place. I'm still holding the nut on the underside, but you have to turn this one to get it through both the enclosure as well as uh, the main board. And, whoops. Uh-oh, this is the problem with these one-take things. There we go. Had to get a little more leverage on it. But it's through. You can see the four nuts are seated in the back. The screws are seated in the front. And that's basically it. Uh, the only thing that remains to be done is to load the firmware and then just test the, uh, the scanner module, but it, it should be good to go.